All right, YouTube, back with another video here. Welcome, my fellow um, watch enthusiasts. Uh, this video, I'm going to talk about my experience uh, ordering a watch from Joma Shop. Um, if you guys haven't heard of Joma Shop, it's an online um, watch bag um, jewelry seller. Um, obviously, they have a dedicated site selling them. Um, they have a lot of good stuff, obviously, for me, just usually I look at the watches, pre-owned or new. Um, obviously, they sell it at a good price. They're basically a gray market, um, they're, so they're not retail. Um, so they have a really, really good price, good sales, really good prices, personally, to me. And there are some watches that they have that are um, somewhat hard to find, and this is one of them. For me, I am a really big fan of Alpina. So when I looked it up, I saw that they had an Alpina Racing Chronograph. Um, I think this was released in 2011. So this watch is like about 12 years old or so. So um, they had it under excellent condition. Um, so when I ordered it, um, it's this watch is hard to find. So I mean, went ahead and got it. Um, went ahead and took the pieces off just to show you guys certain pieces. Um, the watch itself and the buckle, I did clean up. I should have not cleaned it up, but I got too excited, obviously. I cleaned it up. Um, it's stainless steel, and I used white diamond metal polish. It removes oxidation and discoloration from aluminum, brass, and stainless steel, returning our sur uh, surface to a brilliant shine. And it's vanilla scented. But this worked very, very well. I used, uh, like, a very small amount of it. And it worked out very well, so... If you have anything stainless steel, um, I'll try to use that because it brought the color back to this watch. So again, broken up into a couple pieces here. So let's go ahead and get into it. This is the metal rod that holds the buckle in because it's basically a pre-made um, watch uh, watch strap that is ridiculously hard to find. I have asked so many different leather makers or leather watch strap makers if they could make me one and all of them either said no or they never responded so here is the buckle that holds them in place put it in the baggie obviously for safekeeping now let's go to the rest of them here is the buckle um, this part does have scratches in them which I mean I it's fine. I mean, it's uh, obviously um, under their excellent condition. They said that obviously their signs of wear and tear. I mean, wear and tear, a little bit of scratches here and there, but nothing crazy. Again, it's pre owned. So here's the buckle. Uh, again, I cleaned it up so it was a little dull before. But here is the buckle. There's that. Now let's go with the watch here. You can see when I went ahead and took a look, good look at it, um, I checked the the cordial function and everything. Everything works. Everything is fine. As a um, screw down uh, crown here, 100 meters, um, 330 feet of water resistance. There you go. Let's check the back right here. Peanut racing. Overall, um, the, I mean, the watch itself was in really good shape. Like I said, I went ahead and cleaned it up. I think that might, I might have to clean that place up right there. I think just a little bit of that white diamond paste, I might have to clean that up. As you can see, here's the watches. Here's the watch. I don't know what spot that is, but there's that. Um. Overall, the watch case, pretty good. No major scratches or nothing. Uh, I mean, there's a little bit scratch, I think, right here that I noticed. The one you look off a of reflection right there. But other than that, really nothing. Basically, again, for a 12-year-old watch, I definitely say it is in excellent condition. So then let's go with the last but not least, the watch straps here. Um, let's see, let's go with this one. So this side right here is in pretty good condition. Um, the only side that was not so well was the other strap. As you can see, it is falling off. 
Uh, it's falling off a little bit here. So what I'm going to do is take it to a cobbler and see if they can fix that for me and restore this leather back to its natural state. So yeah, overall, I mean, they said what they said. I mean, it's a pretty... It's an excellent condition. I would say I would agree. For a 12-year-old watch, um, this, uh, this watch keeps great time. Excellent time. So, um, other than that, it's um, it was a great buy. It was a good price. Um, they shipped it. I checked out um, the the fastest shipping they had, which was like a day shipping, and it got here in a day. Oh well, yeah, in, in two days, because obviously I ordered it on Sunday, processed it, processed it on Monday, and then they got here on Tuesday. Overall, um, I think I had a great experience with them. The watch uh, came in. I would agree it's in excellent shape. Like I said, other than this being one of the bands being a little messed up, which I'm going to have to take to a cobbler to get it fixed if they can. Uh, the watch itself was in really good shape. The alloy was good. The crystal was good. Movement worked well. There's no major scratches on the watch itself. Um, you know, everything bark, it looks like everything as well in form, about intact. Um, I will, for me, over, overall, I think it was a really, really good purchase for me. Uh, UPS brought it, very quick shipping, you can call them, they have great customer service, so if you were going to buy a watch, I would say check out Joma Shop, good prices, fast shipping, pretty good, um, customer service I think they're based off I think they're on in the New York area last time I checked I think they're around Brooklyn New York I think it was Brooklyn I could have been wrong but I know some of them are in New York they're based off in New York but yeah um, I think it was a pretty good so solid buy I honestly would say it's uh, 9 out of 10 I don't want to say 10 out of 10 because you know um I mean, it's hard to say everyone's perfect, so 9 out of 10. But yeah, if you're going to go buy a watch, give them a try. Had a good experience with them, so there you go. Till next time.